Thank you for watching a Cat Science Club science activity video. Cat Science Club is an organization based out of the Toledo, Ohio area. Our goal is to bring activities, science camps, and science videos such as these to children in our area. We were founded by and we partner with educators in order to bring science to elementary students in fun and exciting ways. Our goal is that all students will remain engaged in science throughout their years in school. Like and subscribe and follow us on social media to help us with our mission. You will also be updated every time we post about our fun science activities. What are we talking about? All right, so hi everyone. We're gonna be talking about boats and how do they float? So here we have ourselves a boat. And this boat is what color? All right, so saying what color is making an observation. So yes, if you haven't figured it out, I'm going with blue. So this color of this boat is blue. So we're making an observation. Is it a big boat or a small boat? Is it plastic, steel, wood? What do you think? It is plastic. And I would consider it a small boat, but maybe to you, it was pretty big. Now that you made your observations, I want you to predict, do you think this boat will float in water? All right, if there's anybody near you, let them know or leave a comment. Do you think this boat will float in water? Not in the air, in water. Here we have the boat and the water. Will it float? Look at that. Why do you think it's floating? Just guess. It's okay if you're wrong, don't worry. Many things like plastic water bottles will float. That's because they are filled with air. Air is less dense than water. Inside of a ship, there's a lot of empty space filled with air. This is one reason boats and large ships can float, even though they're extremely heavy. The outside of an object is called its surface. When more of the surface is touched in the water, the object is more buoyant, which means it floats better. When an object floats, it pushes water out of the way. That's called displacement. But guess what? Water pushes back. So the more surface area an object has, the more water pushes back against it, helping it float. That's another reason why even big ships don't sink if they have the right shape. Now I wanna challenge you. I want you to come up with a way to get a piece of aluminum foil to float. Now get yourself one piece of aluminum foil, roughly six inches by five inches, no bigger, and you have to design a boat that will float in water. Not only do you have to get it to float in water, you have to get it to hold marbles, at least 10 marbles. I do believe we've had people get up to 85 marbles in their boats before. That is your boat challenge, AKA your buoyancy challenge. Good luck, I'm interested to see what you come up with. Here's the design. Now would this float? Why or why not? Hi everyone. Um, hi everyone. Gonna make a video, a science video for you. Uh, we're gonna be talking about boats and how they float. All right. No, I didn't forget what we were talking about. Hi everyone. We're gonna make a science video today. And today we're gonna be talking about boats. So I'd like you to make as many observations about this boat as you can. I'll give you one observation that I noticed right away is that it's blue. That's my dog walking by. Where <laughs> Hi. Got a 
gonna make a video and we're gonna be talking about boats today. All right, first I'd like you to make an observation. Please make as many observations about this boat as you can, such as color. Okay, we're gonna use our senses. You can't smell it, can't taste it, may not taste that good. <laughs> if you're interested in learning more about Cat Science Club, check us out online at catscienceclub.com. Thank you again for watching and enjoy your science activities.